Today I'm going to go over the infamous Contact Us and FL Studio Mixer video. I get this video has been done quite a lot and you can probably find other videos on YouTube that covers this subject, but I feel that it's very long winded and the process to actually do the routine is quite easy. So I'm gonna quickly blitz through this video so that you can do your routine and save a preset so you don't have to keep doing it in the future. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna obviously load a copy of Contact one thing I want to point out that's very important is to make sure that you load the version of Contact that has either the 8 outs or the 16 outs. So when you install Contact, it installs three versions of the VST, just a regular version of Contact, an 8 output version and a 16 output version. Ensure that you load either the 8 or the 16 bit version. So as you can see on my screen, I've got the 16 bit version that's opened. Cool, okay, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna add some channels. We've already got some aux tracks here. We'll just ignore those for now. What we want is we want more of the stereo tracks. So we go to add channel, don't worry about what's here, just press okay. You'll notice now we've got two stereo channels. I'm just gonna add a couple more for demonstration purposes. Now, when you are making beats or making music in the future, you are a big fan of contacts and use it quite a lot. Naturally, you're not gonna to want to have to do this every time. So what you can do is you can save a preset. You'll notice here I've got a preset down here. Literally all you need to do is go to save output section preset as, and it will save it into a contact us folder. Then if you open a new copy of contact and hit this preset, it will automatically bring up, it will automatically bring back everything we're about to do today. So actually thinking about it, even though I've covered this now, I would suggest saving the preset after we've done the next steps. Cool, moving on. We want to assign each of the stereo tracks a stereo output. So we go here, go to physical out and click down here. So aux one, aux two, make sure that you do both stereo channels. Otherwise you're only gonna get either the left or the right channel. It's gonna have some signal. You'll notice here, you've now got three and four. Now we're gonna do this for the other ones very quickly. Perfect do that right cool now we want to add some instruments so I'm just gonna add some instruments quickly doesn't matter what they are just a, a pop piano uh, let's add an organ and what else let's add some vintage keys cool okay so now Um, let's just test that, turn it off. So you'll notice everything is rooted here. And then when we go to the FL mixer, everything's obviously rooted to the master track as well. Okay, so next thing we want to do is the newly created stereo tracks that we've created, we want to route the outputs of each of the instruments to its own insert. As you'll notice here, everything is assigned to output ST1, or stereo one. So we can leave the first one as it is. Little girl preset, we'll change to that. So you'll notice the organs now go in here. And then in the Scarby, we'll do the same thing. But as you'll notice, again, everything's still going to the master track in FL Studio. Okay, next thing, we want to go to the wrapper menu and then go to processing, which is already there for me. Even though I'm using a demo version of FL12, sorry, not a demo version, a beta version, it works exactly the same in FL11 and previous. Cool, so now we want to assign each of our new stereo tracks to an individual insert in the FL Studio Mixer. So scroll that, scroll that, and oh, and two, three. So now if I click here, you'll notice it's going into insert one. The organ is going to insert two, and last but not least, the scar B is going to insert three. So now you can configure it from here as you like. Right, last thing to cover is if we lay just let's just do this. Not going to do anything too special. You'll notice that it's only going to play the piano. If you're using contact primarily to layer sounds you naturally you're going to want 
each note here to play all three instruments. So all you need to do is change the MIDI channel so that every MIDI channel is on A1. Two. Now everything plays together. And then you can use the mixer track to adjust accordingly. Cool, I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to check back in the future for more future videos in this series and other series on my channel. Peace.